Good morning, folks. We're starting with just one of the many things we hope to see and discuss with many of you out on the road in the Mobile Observatory. Trust me, there's nothing like seeing a child's face the first time they catch a sunspot with their very own eyes. It's been a sun-diving comet fest the last day or so. All of these are Kreutz. And the last time we started taking lots of little divers, a bigger one like Lovejoy came around. It's been suggested that another major Kreutz comet will appear down south of our orbital plane any year now. Quick reading recommendations if you have a Springer subscription. We're getting better info on one of the hugest uncertainties in all the climate models. Still have a long way to go, but the missteps we're fixing now are part of what caused the 20 years of failed global warming projections, so definitely need to improve there. Also, many have noticed that Stanford's Wilcox Solar Observatory has not only not been updating the polar fields of the sun as promised on their site, but they've removed all the raw data, doing so one day after the Google Plus Hangout where I stated I was writing a paper on them. Dear Wilcox, we've got that entire page transcribed and video recorded. I wouldn't change one digit. If it's not back up tonight, I'm releasing the Excel file with all the data for anyone to download. We'll move on to environmental pollution. New Mexico radiation concerns linger, and this time it is not just the whip. We also have concerns where a ship ran ashore in the Galapagos and threatens to spill, and we're also looking to the area around the North Sea where evacuations began after the soil beneath the platform began to shift. Yeah, speaking of shifting, no major readings but definitive jolts at the seafloor at Sumatra, eye open. So folks, let's do a before and after on the Eastern Europe floods. We talked about it for days. They'll be cleaning up for much longer than that. We'll come back to Europe and first see the storm maker in the south here driving that cloud line due east. Not much to report down under. We have some heavy rain in the South Island and around the coastlines, but no major warnings. Same goes for Europe. Now you never know when a cell like that will drop an isolated severe event, but in general, you guys have seen much worse the last few weeks. Earth spot situation in the North Pacific needs to calm before we can predict what will happen to a stuck low, if we even get one. Until then, the focus is on the central low. Strong counterclockwise drive colliding air masses of differing temperature, moisture, pressure, and potential. And as it shifts the convergence east tonight, I'm in the severe watch zone here in Columbus, Ohio. Quick polar vortex update. We are entering the three-month trough of northern vortex power and the three-month peak of southern vortex power. Our April 23rd video on the vortices explains the cycle well. In terms of space weather, Bartol's removed more anomalies thought to be data error, but this is more of what we're expecting. Major cosmic readings as the heliosphere weakens. And by the way, folks, major confirmation of our weak sun here. Latest solar conference confirms the weak and very slow start to the cycle. And while we are peaking now, if we drop off quickly, as in any time in the next three years, it will have been the shortest max cycle since the grand minimum. By the way, the top three curves were all during global warming. Anywho, the solar flaring is representing that grand minimum coming quite nicely. Sunspot situation is even bleaker. Not that they fire big when we have them anyway, but why well, the incoming limb for sure anyway. I suppose we won't ignore the departing limb either, considering our magnetic connection to the stars over there and the sunspots are spinning out of sight to that location. Solar wind. Fairly weak, a brief proton bump registered on the energetic flux as well, but our shields took it like a boss. Solar coronal fields pushing in the next positive coronal hole up north. It is of intermediate power only. If you live near Columbus, Ohio, Hershey, PA, or Philadelphia, hit us up at observatoryproject.com to help plan and be part of the tour. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.